Okay, in this video I'm going to have you guys get pages 27, 28, and 29 set up and ready to go for our first topic in unit number 3. This is topic 3.1, Earth Seasons. Let's start on page 27. Page 27 at the top, please call this topic 3.1, Earth Seasons. This is our topic introduction. This will be based off of the YouTube video that we watch on Mondays. You'll start with part one, a brainstorm. And in this brainstorm, you are going to think of some different things that you already know about seasons. Part two is called Tilt-A-Whirl. In Tilt-A-Whirl, we're going to look at the Earth's axis and its angle to determine what effect that might have on seasons. And then for part three, it's called Straighten Up. You'll be asked to predict what might happen to Earth seasons if we did not have a tilted axis. Please pause the video now and get page 27 set up. And let's move on to page 28. Page 28, please call this topic instruction and divide this page into four boxes. In these boxes, you will be creating graphic notes based on the CK12 mini book that I have shared with you for the week. Your four topics include Earth's revolutions, Earth's rotations, Earth's shape, and seasons. Please take a moment and pause the video to get page 28 set up. Then let's take a look at page 29. Top of page 29, please call this calendar of seasons. Here, I want you to draw this little diagram of seasons. What we have is the sun and Earth's orbit. These little triangles here represent the direction that Earth is traveling in. And then we have Earth at four points on its orbit. This one, that one, that one, and that one. Please notice that the sun is off center because remember, the sun is not right in the middle of Earth's orbit. It is off to one side. Please get this diagram set up, and what I'm going to ask you to do here is to identify the next four solstices and equinoxes. This is when the seasons change. You'll find that one of these four different Earths is going to represent one solstice and one equinox. You will be asked to give me the date of each solstice and equinox, label each one correctly, and then tell me how many hours of nighttime we have compared to daytime. I will share a couple of websites with you to help you with this activity. For now, please pause the video and get the top part of page 29 set up. Moving on to our big idea question for the week. Our question is this, why does Kerman have summer when the Earth is farthest from the Sun? By the time you get to this part, you will understand that how close we are to the Sun does not determine seasons. So my question here is, why is it that we have summer here in Kerman when the Earth is the farthest from the Sun that it's going to get on its orbit? Please pause the video and get your big idea questions set up on the bottom of page 29. 